Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Maconia, Minnesota, and the Laughing Trail Fly Tying Club. Today I'm going to be tying my version of the Turk's Tarantula. So it's kind of a hopper uh, pattern, maybe a big stonefly pattern. Uh, this, is, this one is tied on a size 10 hopper hook. I'll tie a size 8 and then down to a size 12 as well. Uh, for a tail or a shuck, it's got uh, Amber Z yarn from Montana Fly Company. The abdomen is super bright peacock dubbing. It's got an underwing of crystal flash, a white Congo hair from Fly Tires Dungeon, and then an overwing of deer hair, a, a head of deer hair that's uh, clipped, and then round white rubber legs, say that real fast, uh, for the legs. So we'll get started here. For a thread, I'm gonna be using uh, Uni. Uh, in a six aught, and I want to get my thread started about the three quarter point, and we'll just wrap the thread base back to the bend of the hook. I'll clip off my excess tying thread there, and then I'm going to come back just a little bit. So I've got actually I took two strands of the Z yarn, uh, put them together. And that's going to be the tail or the shuck. I believe the original pattern uh, used golden uh, pheasant. I think just just floats better and it's certainly quicker and easier to tie in. Okay. Get our thread back to the back of the hook. And I'm going to create a noodle with that super bright uh, peacock dubbing. You can use... Uh, any color you want. You can actually use Peacock Hurl if you want to use that. Um, if you're going to do that, I'd put a little base coat of uh, some super glue on there just to hold that Peacock in place. And that's why I use it, the dubbing. I think it's a, just more durable. And I just like this color of this super bright Peacock dubbing. I think it makes a great looking fly. So just uh, keep it looking buggy, not that buggy, but we'll keep it looking buggy here and until we get up to that three-quarter point there. All right. Now I've got, um, actually ended up with eight strands of crystal flash. So I just took two strands of it, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half. That should be eight, I think. Tie that in, and we're going to trim that, oh, just about to the end of the, the shuck. The uh, next material is that white Congo hair. You can use uh, Baglusi fibers, uh, any, uh, any type of that white uh, material that you want to use. We'll cut that just a little bit short of that crystal flash, and then I'm going to come in here and just trim that off in the front and then bind that down real good. All right, at this point, I'm going to tie in my rubber legs. I'll tie one in on each side of the hook shank. So I just drape it over my thread, and then with my tying thread, I can just place it right where I want it, and then I'll do the same on the other side. And then wrap that in real good. All right. The first part of this is uh, the uh, deer hair wing. So what I did is I cut off a clump of deer hair. I uh, put a comb through it and cleaned it up. And then I stacked it so it's hopefully the tips are relatively easy, even. Okay, now I'm going to come in. Hold it with my left hand. I'm going to make two wraps of tying thread and then I'm going to pull it tight and all that deer hair is just going to flare right up. I'll make a couple more tight wraps and then just come in and make a couple more wraps to make sure that's tied in place good. Okay, now I'm going to turn my vise around. I've got another clump of deer hair that I did the same thing with, except this time I'm going to 
cut the tips off. before I tie it in. And I have just a little bit too much there, so get the right amount. Same thing, just gonna make a couple loose wraps, pull that tight, a couple more tight wraps through there. One too many. All right. So now we're gonna push all that deer hair back and we should find some bare hook there. And I've got one more clump of deer here. Again, I combed it out. And I'll cut the tips off. And this time, if all goes well, this might spin around the hook a little bit. So I'm gonna pull it tight and just let it spin around. Push it all back, make a few more tight wraps of tying thread there. And at this point, I'm going to come in and do a couple half hitches. All right. So now the tying process is finished. Now all we need to do is trim it all up. Bump the camera, I apologize for that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a hold of those, all those rubber legs, and I'm gonna pull them so straight down. So what I did here is I, I turned my fly upside down in the vise, got a hold of those rubber legs, pulling them straight down. Now I've got a straight edge razor blade, and I'm gonna come in here and make a cut. So it's nice and flat on the bottom. Spin my fly back around, get back a hold of those four legs. Pull them down out of the way. Now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my razor blade and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make the cut with that razor blade that way. And kind of form a, a shaped head using that razor blade. And then when you get to the point where you feel like you just better not cut anymore with the razor blade, uh, just come in there and, and start to clean it all up with the scissors. So like down here, we wanna get that cut out of there. Make sure we got it flat. Uh, the key here is to avoid those rubber legs because if you cut them, they're really difficult to glue back in place. So I, I'll get, I would spend another four or five minutes probably uh, trimming up that head of that fly. So just put the first one I had tied in here for the demonstration. So that's how it should look. Finished uh, Turks Tarantula. So great pattern. Uh, can be a little putsy at times to tie, but it's a lot of fun to tie as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.